Hi guys, I'm in everybody's favorite place, the bathroom, because everybody loves to clean the bathroom, right? <laughs> Not. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go through a few products that I use um, in the bathroom to clean. So the first, of course, is the EnviroCloth. I use the EnviroCloth because it's the E for everything cloth. Um, I have a blue EnviroCloth for the bathroom. I have um, color-coded EnviroCloths, um, so the blue is B, so B, blue, B, bathroom. Um, the reason why I have color-coded is because bathrooms freak me out. I hate bathrooms. I don't know what it is about it. I just think it's the dirtiest place in the house. I absolutely hate them. So this EnviroCloth is only used in the bathroom only and as soon as I get done cleaning this bathroom it goes directly in the washer and gets washed I just can't do the bathrooms um, so of course the um, enviro cloth I use to clean everything so I start at the mirror and I work my way all the way around to the toilet and then it goes in the washer um, the window cloth gets used in the bathroom as well um, I use the window cloth to um, clean the mirrors, of course, um, but I also use it for any of my, like, um, silver appliances, so my sink, um, my um, towel hangers, um, the trim um, for my shower door, my light fixture, anything that's silver and needs to be polished, I go ahead and clean with the window cloth. Um, I also have a bathroom scrub mitt, and it slides on your hand just like this. So on one side, it's got like a soft microfiber. Um, it has backlog, um, which is our antibacterial agent in it as well. Um, and on the other side, it's got like a scrubby um, texture. Um, you can kind of see it better when I zoom in there. So um, this... I use um, to clean my shower. Um, I actually have it hanging in the shower and um, every time that Blake and I, um, either one are in the shower, we both tend to just slide it on and while we wait for a shampoo to soak in, we're actually cleaning while we shower. Um, so that's the weird thing we do. Um, but I absolutely love this thing. It helps us keep um, the um, soap grime to like not stick to our shower. Um, it could be because we clean our shower almost every day now because we clean while we're in there. Um, but this um, is super simple to use. It slides on your finger kind of like the dusting mitt and it just is real easy um, to maneuver. So. We have become really fond of our bathroom scrub mitt. Um, I also have the bathroom cleaner that I use um, in the bathroom. So the bathroom cleaner can be used concentrated, like as is, or you can dilute it. So I use it concentrated to clean my toilet. I just go right around the rim and then I take my toilet brush and I scrub um, the toilets. I dilute it um, in this water bottle. Um, so it's one ounce of bathroom cleaner to seven ounces of water and I dilute it and use this surface um, as a surface spray. So I actually like spray my um, sinks, I spray my toilets, I spray my showers, any surface in this bathroom I spray with it. Now I know that you all are thinking, well, I thought you said you can clean with only water, which you can. I uh, know a lot of Norwex consultants, a lot of Norwex believers that clean the entire bathroom with only water. And that's fine. That's fantastic. I've seen many, many tests um, where they take like protein swabs um, on the toilet after cleaning with just water. And it's perfectly normal. Um, no protein present. But something about the bathroom freaks me out and I can't do it. So I have to have some type of surface um, spray. So by using the bathroom cleaner diluted, it's a lot safer um, still. Um, but if you want to use water, then
go for it. I mean, it works. It'll clean 99% um, bacteria. Um, I will actually post the protein toilet test um, later on because it really is cool to watch. Um, I just, I have to have um, some type of surface spray in the bathroom. I just, I just can't do it. Um, I am going to talk about the um, toilet brush um, that we have. So, um, the toilet brush is super cool. Um, it thoroughly cleans the toilet without um, scratching the surface. So, you know, like the wire um, toilet brushes that um, you probably have, it's actually scratching the inside of your toilet. Um, so, this is made from um, thermoplastic um, and rubber. So it's actually um, also embedded with our antibacterial agent. Um, so it helps um, the growth of mildew and mold as well. So these rubber bristles, I don't know if you really can see them. You can see the rubber bristles. Um, they're spaced far enough apart to allow for quick rinsing and draining. So um, so it's going to dry super quick because um, it's rubber and there's nothing there to actually like grab hold or soak in moisture. Um, so it's um, really nice to have, um, especially since it doesn't hold water. Um, so it does have a special extension on it that you can see here. And um, that extension is super nice to clean the rim of the toilet. Um, so it's designed to um, clean that rim super quick and super easy. Um, another thing that it does is it um, hangs and doesn't touch the bottom. So again, um, because they're rubber, it's going to dry more quickly. But when it does drain, um, it's not... Um, touching the bottom so it has like a ventilation so that water um, can dry and evaporate more easily um, again water causes mildew and mold so if there's no water in the bottom of it then there's no mild mildew or mold so um, I um, love it it makes it um, cleaning the toilet super easy I actually plan on getting a second one just because I'm lazy and I don't like to go back and forth to the bathrooms but again that's just me I am gonna go ahead and talk about the um, tile mop pad that Norwex offers so as you can see it's got like this zigzag pattern um, so that is just um, some extra cleaning power. Um, you can use this pad um, wet or dry. Um, the special nylon fibers is what you see that's in that zigzag pattern. And those are woven into our microfiber pad to quickly um, grab that dirt and grime so you can get all of that debris off of your floors. Um, I wasn't a super big fan of the tile pad at first because I thought it was like um, harder to use. Um, I feel like it didn't like glide on the floor like the dry or the wet pot uh, pad did. Um, but the more I used it and the more I saw like the difference it made, um, just like by using like the wet pad and then the next time I cleaned I used the... Um, tile pad and you could see like a huge difference in the way that it cleaned um so I was like okay fine I'll continue to use this on the tile um just because I saw a difference um but it is a little harder to move but um it does make a big difference when you use um that so now I'm just going to clean my bathroom and I'm going to show you um how clean Norwex cleans 